when you're ready, you're warmed up. You've got all the different elements set and you're waiting for the first throw in. And then from that moment on, you're in the zone. My name is E.B. Sivright. I've been riding since I was seven years old and playing polo since my early teens. I watched my first games and after that, I didn't want to do anything else. I liked the fact that it was aggressive, that it involved competition, it involves commitment. If you can compare it to sports that you play, rugby would be a great comparison. It is a dangerous sport. Of all the contact sports, it is probably the most dangerous. The game involves collision, lateral marking, riding off. What looks terrible, what looks like a NASCAR collision on the field, is just like it is in NASCAR. Everybody usually gets up fine. A polo player is like a pilot or a driver in every sense. He knows when is the right time to slow down, when is the right time to accelerate. But then you've got to be able to switch on like that and then back down again. And a horse has six different gears. Control of speed, control of your gears on the horse is fundamental. Polo is divided into increments of seven and a half minutes that are called chuckers. A polo player is taking 10 or more horses to the field for short bursts, two to three minutes at a time. There is absolutely Maserati of horses. The horses, either thoroughbreds or the Argentine equivalent. You cannot be a great player without horsepower. You can be a player of ability up to a certain level, but after a certain point, everything is dependent on the horse that you're riding. The player and his horse are the same thing. Polo is played with wooden or plastic balls. It's harder to play with a wooden ball but it's in many ways more satisfying. Technique is everything. It's very difficult to master a good swing and it involves hours and hours of practice every day. The polo mallet becomes part of your hand, so that becomes an extension of your arm here. An average player wouldn't look elegant. Elegance and grace comes down to economy of movement. The game has always been elegant, but it was a game of kings and queens. My favorite aspects of the game today is that it's not solely about fashion and appearance. Sartorial aspect is something at the very essence. A whole culture of clothing has grown up around that. La Martina represents that. Creating the equipment which represent polo as a, more than just a sport. I think that one of the key misconceptions from outside the game is that it's not as much of a physical game, but I think that's a, a massive underestimation of what the game involves. In order to appear graceful requires balance, and balance requires strength. I love introducing people to the game of polo because I, it's never what they expected. They're never ready for the speed and the furiousness of which it's played. That's probably the essence of everybody's addiction to polo. Oh.